workshop, what's a good way to start in terms of getting robotic kits? Um, so, first Drag robotics... State, something that's programmable, but uh, the drive train is taken care of. Drive train is taken care of? Vex gets on bad. I mean, uh, well, so I'm not a big fan of Vex. They really dumb down the programming and they're really frustrating to work with. I would go through and find some of the old first kits. Uh, first robotics, US first onward. Uh, and like, they have some old shit that's pretty good. Realistically though, your drive face, if you're not trying to make it fancy, is a plywood board and two motors. And like, make it a square, put like shopping cart casters in the front, put a chain on the motors, and just call it a day. Buy PWMs, PWMs like 200 bucks for two wheels. Or um, you can just like write it on the right yourself. A PWM? <laughs> You can do well, that. You still need the hardware. I mean, I don't, I, I don't know. Well, no, you don't have to need hardware. Like, what you can do is you can do a simple circuit with like an 18 mega. They have PWM yeah. outputs, and then what you can do is you can have that go into a something that will tolerate much higher voltage. Like, uh, an H bridge with some big. An H bridge, a giant ass MOSFET, yeah. like something like that, yeah. and then uh, and then it have them be, you know, and then have that control the real power output, um, and that's like a really really cheap basic frame. What? Really varies on how much you want to get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, in the robot, or, I mean, there are mechanical engineers who just slap like prefabricated stamps on there and call it a day with pretty much standard libraries. Um, I personally am really fond of uh, running right on the AT Mega with C. Um, the AT Mega is the thing behind most Arduinos, um, but I'm really not a fan of the Arduino language personally. It made all the morons get on the Um you know, that said, the, the hardware is pretty sweet, especially for the older ones. So if you get yourself standard AT Mega um, and just compile the code for that right off, that's pretty solid. You can also get a lot of the X first stamps. You can get uh, X Dex stamps. You can get. Um, okay, uh, just to be known, this is coming somewhere over my head, and I have not dealt with the wires before. Okay. Uh, what would what, what's your budget? Let's, 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 your, let's be totally honest. What's, what's your budget for this project? Okay, you're fine. Get uh, yourself. So you get what yourself. What would you recommend as a starter for getting this information? My background is chiefdelphi.org or chiefdelphi.com. I would I would go to I would search Chief Delphi, which is. Yeah. I would I would go with Chief. Seriously though, look at look at Chief Delphi. Chief Delphi will give you all the the backups on the old first parts. And first is meant to be picked up by a bunch of high schoolers and like, you know, they get pretty far with it. Programmed in raw C, so they can do some really powerful stuff with it. Um, very entry level friendly. First is probably one of the greatest resources for entry level robotics that I know of. Cheap what? It's called Cheap Delphi. If you put it in Google, you can get it out. I think it's cheapdelphi.com. So we turn on the tax. Yes. No. You can also move the motors. Yeah. Why not just put a tensioner on it? You can put a tensioner on it. But that would violate the way you are. Not on the Put a tensioner on a slot and revolt it down the slot. Yeah. Uh, also, like, micro changes in your drive phase, like, realistically speaking, like, 5%, well, considering when, especially when the chains double back, like, you can kick the wheels back, but the bad's gonna happen. Drive phase ratios really only matter when they're drastic. Um, they're not, they're not particularly touchy or anything, so. Yeah. I'm, I'm used to doing the man attention issue. Uh, uh, for, you have to speak up now. I'm sorry. We used to be manual tensioners for the drive chain, the drive side, the cam chain tension, or whatever, yeah. on, on motorcycles. And that's fair. That's totally I'm just saying, like, this is the idiot sort of, you know what I mean? Exactly. We're, st we're starting with the basics. Um, you're totally welcome to, I mean, a, 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 a movable idler is a beautiful thing. Um, just don't do it with the springs. Yeah. It's the only yeah. plan to go one way. Well, they have linear movements that they all fail. Anybody else want to do some stuff? I don't know how much I can help, but... What teams have you met Actually, what more regions do you go to? Uh, I'm actually no longer in first. I, I, I mentor hackers now. <laughs> um, 
But in, in, uh, in freshman, I was, a, uh, I was on Team 360, and then I coached 17-25 uh, and 2104. Um, I had a real soft spot for like the really fucked up Mighty Ducks teams with like the kids that beat each other up in inner city districts. Um, so I mean, they're not like those. Like we made champions out of those kids, but we didn't make like the beast or like you know like like dollar or something out of them. You know. Um, I uh, and then I emceed in Pittsburgh Regional for a while. Um, I'm looking to get back into it probably this competitive season. It'll probably be one of the teams based out of Mount Mountain Area. Mountain View, California, okay. which is where I live now. I did a bunch of FLLCs too, but no one cared about their numbers. They're in like, they're in like 10 grand or something that team. It's like, holy crap. It doesn't change. Yeah. And what color does your hair have to be to work with robots? If you're Mark Leon, it's blue. And, uh, I mean, it's your team colors. It was red when I emceed. That was awful. Don't dye your hair with cool aid, kids. That was a terrible idea. But it didn't change. <laughs> no, that was it was it was intentional. Like it, it I I attempt I, I attempted to do it intentionally. What happened wasn't intentional. What happened was like I also tried to dye my hair with body paint. That was a terrible idea too. <laughs> I had like a mohawk of deafness. Is anybody else? What's up, man? I have a question about the motor you use. Yeah. Motor? Brush. Yeah, brush DC. Brush DC. Those are really expensive, aren't they? Yeah. No, no, brushless is really expensive. I thought just DC motors in general. 